The member for Lanark, Frontenac, Lanark, Saddington. Thank you very much, Speaker. It's a pleasure to be uh, in the House to speak about our first Prime Minister, Sir John A. Macdonald, and, and it really is most appropriate for this Assembly to be participating and recognizing uh, this significant and historical commemoration um, um, in January of 2015, the 200th um, or the bicentennial of Sir John's uh, birth. Now, I know Kingston has taken hold of Sir John A as their own, and rightly so. Uh, yeah, Sir John A's uh, presence in Kingston and his long time uh, residence and uh, affiliation with Kingston is well known. But as a member for Lanark, Frontenac, Lennox, and Addington, I do want to make mention that Sir John A also resided and practiced law and had a, an office, his law office, in Napanee, Ontario as well, just outside of Kingston. And of course, the people in Napanee are very, uh, and rightly so, very proud of the roots of Sir John A to their community as well. I have to say, uh, to the members in the legislature. One of the um, best books that I've read uh, is uh, Richard Wynne's uh, biography on Sir John A. Wonderful uh, volumes, uh, provides significant insight and recognition of Sir John A, the man, as well as Sir John A, the, the politician and the father of this country. So I would certainly encourage uh, I'll just take a, a couple of the things out of, uh, well, maybe before I do that, there's also a significant reference for Sir John A. in my writing as well. Um, although everybody recognizes and that Sir John A. was the founding father of this country, and we all know the big things that he's done or had done, um, there's a lot of other little things that aren't so well known in our history of Sir John A. Macdonald. And just to give you uh, one of the great constitutional battles that Sir John A. Macdonald was involved in um, happened in my riding in, in the county of Lanark, and that was the um, that significant federal provincial dispute between Sir John A. Macdonald and uh, Sir Oliver Mowat, uh, and of course Sir Oliver Mowat had been Sir John A's apprentice lawyer at his offices in Kingston in Napanee. He went on to become pr uh, Liberal Premier of Ontario, and uh, Sir Oliver and Sir John had some legendary disputes over uh, political jurisdictions, and one of them happened in Lanark County. Um, on the Mississippi and the Clyde Rivers, it was over property rights. It eventually got settled by the Privy Council um, in Westminster uh, in 1884. It went on for about 20 years. Um, but the outcome of that was a recognition of provincial rights on, on property rights, provincial jurisdiction on property rights, and the Rivers and Stream Act of 1884. And if anybody happens to be driving up in beautiful McDonald's Corners in Lanark County, you'll see a nice historical plaque uh, recognizing that uh, those endeavors uh, back in 1884. There's, although this assembly is indeed, and everybody here, we are a legacy of Sir John A. McDonald. His determination and perseverance and his ability to bring uh, people together has resulted in this country, this province, this assembly, and all of us here. Right? Um, but I think, you know, again, reading back through those history books, of I don't think Sir John A. would recognize the political parties of today <laughs> and the elected representation today as compared in his times. Uh, I don't know. Uh, one of the uh, when he was often asked what his occupation was, he would put down cabinet maker, um, which is quite a uh, creative use. Uh, um, um, and, and that is what he, he did. He cobbled together and crafted um, 
collaboration and allegiances um, and brought people together. Uh, the other thing about being a cabinet maker, uh, one of the things that he really hated but recognized was there, I don't think hate is the right word, uh, it was a, um, a bee in his bonnet, I guess. He referred to members as loose fish if they weren't completely aligned uh, with Sir John's cabinet and, uh, and, uh, and he was forever trying to uh, capture those loose fish because of course in those, those days political parties were not nearly as structured or uh, regimented and there was far greater flexibility um, and more independence uh, in those days. So. Uh, Sir Johnny certainly had outstanding qualities, clearly outstanding perseverance and determination, uh, but also that ability to bring people together. And as a result, we have a, the best country in the world left in our hands to further make greater and better. And it's to all of us, uh, it's great to see that Ontario is going to be participating in Kingston, is taking those steps to com commemorate our greatest Prime Minister of ever. Thank you very much.